So in this video, we want to talk about why does removing the gallbladder potentially make you fat? Okay. Here's several reasons. One is that you need plentiful bile to help you convert your thyroid hormones. Uh, the thyroid produces T4. It's converted through the liver and the gallbladder to the active form, which is T3. So if we don't have enough bile, and that's what happens when you remove the gallbladder, you just have this trickling effect because the gallbladder is a sac that holds and concentrates bile up to 20x. Okay, so if we don't have that concentrating effect. We just have drops come down not in a non-concentrating effect, so we're going to have a bile deficiency. So that can affect the thyroid and make the thyroid be hypo and uh, slow down your metabolism. Okay. Another factor is that without enough bile, your A1C can go up, your blood sugars can go up. Bile helps to make insulin sensitive. Okay, so it's it, insulin resistance is uh, a situation where the insulin is no longer sensitive; it's being resistive. Okay, so this is that connection, and then the higher amounts of insulin can make you fat. The microbiome, the flora, the friendly bacteria in your gut are highly um, influenced by bile. So if there's not enough bile, you're gonna have a less amount of microbes in your gut. And so you can gain weight just from that alone. Bile also acts as a lubricant. So without the lubricating effect, you can become constipated and hold a lot more waste material, thus increasing your weight gain. You could also feel bloated all the time because bile helps with bloating and that can give you a swollen belly and create a lot of congestion in that area and increase weight gain. Also, bile helps to keep the liver from becoming fatty. So if there's not enough bile there, your risk for fatty liver goes way up. All right, so now that you know all the different effects from bile, what would you do? I recommend you start taking some bile. You can get purified bile salts and that can help you. I'll put a link down below for more information on that. But bile is very important if you don't have a gallbladder. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about what happens when the gallbladder is removed. I get a lot of questions and I want to answer it. Uh, so this is what happens. First of all, your liver makes bile. Okay, Bile is stored in the gallbladder. Bile is like a detergent that helps you break down the grease. It's a fluid that helps dissolves, dissolve fats. All right, And the gallbladder concentrates the bile by 20 times. So when you have bile in the liver, if you compare it to the gallbladder, it's super concentrated. And you need that concentration to release when you eat to be able to dissolve the fats. Because if it's not that concentrated, you're going to get incomplete digestion of fats. The stool is going to start to float. You're going to have incomplete digestion. So the purpose of bile is to help you break down fats and help you absorb fat-soluble vitamins vitamin A to prevent night blindness, skin problems, vitamin E for the heart, vitamin D for bone, bone pain, vitamin K2 too, to prevent calcium from building up in the arteries. So all those fat soluble vitamins are very important to be able to absorb and digest. And also when you don't have enough bile, you have problems with um, just essential fatty acid deficiencies. Now, um, I don't know if you've ever heard of like omega-3 fats or omega-6 fats or DHA. These are all really healthy fats that you need uh, for anti-inflammatory effects, for the heart, for cellular membranes, uh, for the brain, for brain repair, for cellular repair. So basically, when you have your gallbladder out, uh, chances are you're going to be deficient in bile. That is the side effect. It might not show up right away, but down the road, it might show up. So you no longer concentrate the bile, you get incomplete uh, digestion of fat, uh, you become deficient in fat soluble vitamins, you'll get some bloating because uh, without bile, you'll tend to bloat, and you'll get right shoulder pain sometimes because there's a nerve that comes right up through here and goes right up to the neck because what happens when, if you're not releasing the bile, there's uh, possibly some scar tissue from the removal of the gallbladder or some irritation there. Because um, they never really corrected why you needed the gallbladder out in the first place. If you had stones, the question is, why did you get stones? They didn't correct that. Well, it's because you're deficient in bile in the first place. Because <laughs> you're going to develop stones when you don't have enough bile. So incomplete uh, toxin elimination. So 
one purpose of bile is to eliminate toxins, so you can't release that. So now we get a buildup of toxins. And I also forgot one other function. The gallbladder is essential for helping the conversion of T4 to T3 to help your thyroid work better. So without a gallbladder, you might start having hypothyroid symptoms. And lastly, constipation, because bile helps lubricate the colon. All right? So now, what do you do if you don't have a gallbladder and you have these symptoms? You need to be taking purified bile salts. Now, I put a link down below of something that I recommend called the gallbladder formula because it not only has purified bile salts, but it has a lot of other stuff. It has enzymes for the pancreas. It has acidifiers for the stomach. It has stone root to help dissolve stones. It has a lot of other things just to uh, improve that whole function. All right? So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the... Uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide, Major Updates on the Body Types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to The Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever want to know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress, and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto intermittent fasting. This is the shortcut, a uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you within 45 minutes, learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special, if you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.